Wednesday, December 9th, writing lesson. All week we've been working on constructing a paragraph, so our objective is the same as it has been the past couple days. I can construct a paragraph. We can think of a hamburger when we think about a paragraph. Our topic sentence is kind of like our introduction and our conclusion sentence are like the buns of the hamburger and all the good stuff in the middle are our supporting details. Those supporting sentences help support the main idea of the paragraph, which is also known as our topic sentence. Some paragraph reminders. Again, typically we have about three, four, or five sentences, and our paragraphs have a topic sentence which introduces the paragraph, supporting details that support that topic sentence, and then finally a concluding sentence which helps wrap up the entire paragraph and puts it to an end. Our supporting sentences need to support the topic sentence. Remember, we want our paragraph to be on topic. That means that it needs to all be about the same thing. So this organizer here is going to help me organize my thoughts, and I'm just going to fill in the blanks here. My favorite city is blank, and I wrote Sedona. So that right there is my topic sentence. It's introducing that my entire paragraph is about my favorite city. The next few sentences are going to be my supporting details, and in this case, it's going to be reasons why Sedona is my favorite city. This city is in the state of Arizona. This supports my topic sentence about my favorite city. I like this city because there is a lot of pretty scenery. Here is a reason, but also it supports the main idea of that my favorite city is Sedona. One of my favorite things to do in this city is go on hikes and walks. This is another reason that helps support the topic sentence about my favorite city being Sedona. Another thing that I enjoy in Sedona is shopping and going to restaurants. This is yet another reason that helps support my topic sentence. Sedona is a beautiful and fun city. This here is my concluding sentence. I'm just wrapping up my paragraph. So what you're going to do on your exit ticket today is just fill in the burger, the lettuce, the cheese. If we're thinking about a paragraph as a hamburger, you're going to be filling in the middle of both buns. So on each of these examples, the topic sentence and the concluding sentence are already written. You, like I said, if you're thinking back to that hamburger, you're going to be filling in all the good stuff in the middle. So for example, number one is about cheeseburgers. The topic sentence here says, cheeseburgers are one of my favorite foods. The concluding sentence says, I love to eat cheeseburgers. So on these three lines here, you're going to provide three supporting sentences that supports the topic sentence. And that's how all of the other examples are as well. You're given the topic sentence and the concluding sentence, and you just have to create some supporting sentences that support that topic sentence. All right, so this is located on Canvas. If you need any help, please reach out to me on Canvas. And also don't forget that our sentences include capital letters and punctuation. So when you're typing your supporting sentences, be sure to include those things as well.